Welcome to SS2K channel ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and hit all so that you will be updated regarding the latest updates. The content of this video is taken from available sources such as but not limited to the internet and the author of this video does not represent any person or organization which will be presented. This is presented for educational purposes only and yours truly do not claim the ownership of the uh, content. The so uh wheel was uh invented probably in western uh, asia no based on the books in traffic management in accident investigation although some states that it was invented by Sumerians. Such invention was a milestone and great step forward in uh, transportation. As wheel was perfected, crude carts and wagons began to appear in Tigris Euphrates Valley about 3500 BC and later in Crete, Egypt and China. The wheels were one of man's greatest invention. It enables him to transport burdens or the goods no, beyond the power of man or animals to carry or to drag and permitted much greater facility of movements than uh, the simple sledge on rollers which had to be continually picked up and moved by hands as uh, the uh, sledge is advanced no so one of the first uh, wheel that uh, was discovered is the uh, uh, Ljubljana Martius wooden wheel the Ljubljana Martius wooden wheel is the uh, oldest wheel ever found in Europe or anywhere uh, in the world this was discovered by two uh, Sloven archaeologists in uh, April of 2002 in uh, the uh, Ljubljana marshes in Slovenia. No? When uh, carbon dated, the remains are estimated to be up to uh, 5,200 uh, years old. The uh, following were uh, some of the earliest type of uh, wheel carts. So, syempre, kung meron pong uh, wheel, uh, meron pong pinaggagamitan na sledge or carts and this is considered the oldest one. Uh, the Ljubljana Martius wooden wheel. No? Uh, mas tinalo pa nito yung pong uh, uh, solid wheels on fixed axle ng uh, Sumerian. Okay? So the solid wheels on fixed axle, it is an ancient cart which represents an early step in the evolution of wheeled vehicles. Its solid wheels, which were made of a single piece of wood, rotated on a single axle. Okay, so yun po yung uh, wheel pa lamang. Yung wheel na yun ay ginagamit po doon po sa Sumerian chariot, no? Yan. Then next was the Sumerian chariot now with flank uh, wheels. This chariot of about 2400 BC had solid wheels, no? Ito yung pinaggamitan nung pong solid wheels on fixed axle in attached dito po sa Sumerian chariot, okay? And uh, so uh, was more uh, durable than the one piece uh, of wood. Then next was the uh, Greek quadriga with the spoke wheels. It is drawn by four horses. Uh, was a light and elegant uh, vehicle for gentlemen about 250 BC. It had uh, spoke uh, wheels and axle or the iron or 
bronze. So meron na po siyang uh, uh, rayos ha? sa mga sasakyan. Ito po yung rim. Siyempre mas magaan na kaysa doon po sa solid uh, wheels. Okay? Yan. So, uh, it has spoke wheels and axles uh, or iron or bronze handles for aid in mounting and the seat formed by board placed across the uh, handles. Okay? Then, uh, ang sumunod po doon ay yung pong uh, Italian coacho na pinaniniwalaan na pinanggalingan ng salitang uh, coche, no? yung coacho. Uh, in 1288, a traveling wagon in which uh, the passengers were protected by the covering of leather or cloth no? fixed over a wooden framework. So ito po ay uh, uh, close na siya. Makina na lang ang kunang coche na. No? And uh, it was believed Uh, to be the uh, origin of uh, kotse, no? Ayan, so yung four-wheeled vehicles na. And in ancient Rome, the following are the wheeled vehicles in ancient Rome according to biblehistory.com, no? The uh, first one is the Arsera. The Arsera had four wheels cover and was generally drawn by two or more horses. The outside uh, consisted of uh, unhewn boards covered by loose uh, drapery. This vehicle was specially used to convey the sick and infirm and was uh, sufficient size to allow occupants to uh, uh, recline. So, medyo malaki at pwedeng mahiga yung pong pasyente no because it was used to transport the uh, sick and infirm people no yung arsera then they have also the uh, basterna it was commonly used by a woman when traveling and uh, was borne by two mules one before and one behind each hitch to a separate pair of shafts as uh, seen on the uh, picture no then third is Benna this four-wheeled conveyance is made of uh, weaker work and was uh, of Gallic origin it can accommodate several persons when uh, traveling then we have the fourth one is the uh, Carpentum it is also known as the Roman Carpentum The Roman Carpentum is used by early Romans in as early as 5,000 uh, or 500 BC no? and as late as 5th century of Christian era. It was a covered carriage with two wheels, had a seat for two or three and was usually drawn by two mules, horses or even oxen. Okay? And we have the uh, Karuka. The Karuka is a Roman vehicle. It has a uh, four with uh, or four wheels with the front uh, ones smaller than two behind. This had a cover and was drawn by two to four horses or mules. It uh, was often ornamented by craving in bronze and ivory. and by chasing uh, in silver and gold. Members of the imperial families were fond of traveling using this kind of coach. Yung karuka, no? Then they have also the karus. It is a cart with uh, two wheels and uh, boarded the uh, sides. It was drawn by oxen or bullock and was mainly used by Roman armies. for transportation of their baggage and uh, supplies. Okay? Sa atin is carosa, no? Anila is carus. Uh, we have also the uh, sisium, no? A light open vehicle of Gallic origin. It had two uh, wheels and room for two person. Uh, it uh, also has a box or... Uh, case beneath the seat 
where a small baggage can be carried in. Two to three horses or mules were used to draw this, and because of the lightness of this carriage, this is especially suitable for rapid travels. Then they have the pilentum. The pilentum used chiefly by women of the upper classes. It was furnished with cushions, had a covered top, but open side. This was also used on state occasions by Roman matrons, priests, and vestal virgins. In this, they carried sacred vessels and rode in procession and public games. Ninth is the four-wheeled plastrum. The four-wheel plastrum, usually employed for heavy burdens, but were also used for traveling. Pangsampo ay yung pung raida. It is a common among Romans during the last century of the Republic, a commodious vehicle of Gallic origin and had four wheels. This was used by man when he traveled with his family because this has sufficient room for several persons together with their luggages. Then, eleventh is the saracum. The saracum is used by ancient Roman farmers as a traveling vehicle for themselves and for their families. Then, they have also the so-called Roman tensa or tensa. The tensa is a sacred vehicle elaborately ornamented with ivory and silver. And it had either two or four wheels and was drawn by four horses. This carriage was used during the Circensian Games to carry the images of deities. So, hindi lang basta-basta ginagamit yung pong tensa dahil yung po'y ginagamit lamang during the Circensian Games, no? No? Then we have the wheeled vehicles and carriage. No, the wheeled vehicles and carriage could not use the narrow paths and trails used by pack animals. And early roads were soon built to accommodate the larger transportation vehicles. Of course, when the wheeled vehicles was already introduced, o sa anila pa dada anin yung kanilang wheeled vehicles. Hindi naman po pwede, doon po sa dinadaanan lang ng mga kabayo no? or yung pong mga pack animals maliban sa kabayo. So ano ang sumunod nilang ginawa? They need to construct uh, roads. No? That's why uh, the uh, next project of the Romans will uh, be the uh, road uh, building. No? So the Romans were the major uh, road builders in the ancient world. The Romans' road network reached a total of about 50,000 miles, that is 80 kilometers, with feeder road branching out from the main highways. It was costly because its deep foundation, formed by layer after heavy stones, and was necessary to make the roads that would carry heavy traffic for many years. John L. McAdam did not abandon the theory of feeder road building, no, and he perfected the so-called McAdamized road in England about 1815. And the Romans are considered to be the people who perfected, no, the roads. After the fall of the Romans in the 5th century, land haulage or colonizing foreign lands by European kingdoms and countries generally declined because highways suffered from inadequate maintenance. Such improvements, however, as the horses' collars in 10th century, the addition of springs uh, or spring coaches, new methods of road construction, and the introduction of the toll road in 18th century and it all continued to ease the speed 
and travel. And the invention of larger carriage and vehicles pulled either by human beings or animals could be considered as the basis of modern highway construction. Siyempre, habang dumadami yung pong wheeled vehicles, kailangan ay lumuwang naman yung pong mga kalsada. Okay, that's why if there is an improvement in the invention of vehicles, then therefore there should also be a improvement in the invention of roads. Okay? So, yun po yung history of uh, wheeled vehicles and road history, ladies and gentlemen. Then, of course, uh, uh, lately, na-introduce na po yung pong uh, pneumatic tires, no? At saka yung uh, makina, no? As we have discussed in the previous uh, A video. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat sa inyong walang kawang panonood dito po sa ating YouTube uh, uh, channel. And if you have learned something, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button.